Good morning, farmers. My name is Lizzie Gokomundo Ringisa. I'm an agronomist at CP Chemicals. Uh, CP Chemicals is located in Arare at a 16.5 kilometer peg along Loma Gund Road in Mount Hampton. And we have got another branch in Granite Side at number 112 Seke Road. Uh, we've got uh, other branches outside Darare, like in Chegutu, uh, Karoi, and Bindura. So we, 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 we supply agrochemicals um, for various crops. And these uh, crop protection solutions have got uh, different, different formulations um, for, for use in various uh, crops. So uh, our soil in onion production should be free from weeds, diseases, and insects. And this could only be achieved by the help of uh, the use of agrochemicals. So on the agrochemicals that are used in onions, we have got uh, seed treatments, nematicides, herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides. And we should always purchase these pesticides from registered suppliers like RCP Chemicals. Uh, a farmer is encouraged to always read the label and understand it before use. Exercise safe movement and avoid careless transportation of these chemicals as they are dangerous and can cause harm to people. Uh, there is need to take note of the precautions that you are supposed to do and make sure you have got protective gear and always make use of um, of the of the application equipment that is supposed to be used to in order to apply these chemicals. There is need to pour these pesticides carefully in order to avoid spillages or getting the chemical into your eyes or skin. There is need also to measure and mix pesticides carefully. Please stick on to the, to the quantities that are supposed to be mixed. And decontamination of sprayer and empty container disposal should be done appropriately. So I, I would like to encourage farmers to buy seed from uh, reputable sources like chatter seeds as they treat their seed uh, with uh, seed treatment chemicals such as uh, Seed Dress Plus or Seed Dress 250FS. It, uh, these chemicals contain fungicides as well as insecticides in order to prevent seedling diseases. And uh, the chemical that can be used for nematode control is Oxamio 310SL. Then uh, moving on to the major diseases and insects that affect onion. Uh, the number one disease is dumping off caused by PPM species. And in seed beds, we are encouraged to use metalaxyl plus mancozeb. Some call it redomil gold. And for downy muju, mancozeb can be used as well, or mancozeb plus uh, metalaxyl. Then other diseases such as botrytis neck rot or botrytis leaf blight, a secospora leaf spot or powder mildew. Uh, one can use Supertop, which is a two in one product that contains azoxystrobin and diphenoconazole. Then for paper leaf blotch, which is usually seen as uh, white uh, spots on the leaves, you can use uh, tebconazole. Then uh, for the insect control, our major insects are cutworm and lambda can be used 
from the pre-germination stage up to the first leaf development. Then another problematic insect are uh, thrips with uh, feeding damage that causes whitish blotch on leaves. And the chemical that can be used is either spear, hot star, or abamectin. And this can also offer control against leaf miners as well as aphids. Then for aphids, again, you can use dimethoid or acetamiprid. Then for the herbicides, a farmer should know the types of weeds that troubles him. Um, for land clearing, one can use glyphosate, the lipid formulation or the granular one. Then on transplanting, you can use oxadiazone, some call it Ronstar, at 2.1 to 4.2 liters per hectare. And this offers control against annual grasses, broad leaf weeds, and it has to be applied at transplanting or especially on directed seed or on directed seed that onion at around five leaf stage. Then another chemical that can be used as pre-emergence is oxyflorfen, uh, commonly known as go. It controls broad leaf weeds and some grasses. It should be applied uh, 10 to 18 days after transplanting as a once-off application at a rate of three liters per hectare. Or you can do a split application. That is at 10 to 18 days, you apply one and a half liters. Then four to six weeks later, you then apply another one and a half liters for a hectare. At post emergence for the control of grasses, such as uh, kush grass, uh, rapopo grass, shamba grass, you can use fusifor, 12.5 EC at a rate of about one to two liters for a hectare. And uh, we are always encouraged to spray when the weeds are still young and tender, that is before the, before the six leaf stage. Unfortunately, we have uh, none for the control of broadleaf weeds. Then um, the following, the pictures of, the, of these uh, chemicals. That is uh, Fusifop, Tebconazolamta, and Boldstar. Uh, this marks the end of my presentation. Thank you.